So shroud is held with two little 10 millimeter bolts, 10 millimeter head anyway, uh, on either side. This one has been modified uh, on the last time we had to tear this down. We cut the shroud in half, and so there's some additional nuts on this side that would allow the top half of the shroud to be removed. And that provides a lot more access to the fan, because otherwise you have to take the fan off and the shroud off at the same time. And there's just not a lot of space here to get to the nut that holds the fan in place. Uh, highly recommended. If you've got a reason to take this apart, take the time, make that modification while you have it in pieces. It does make this job, this part of the job anyway, less uh, obnoxious when you have to remove the fan. So you can see where this shroud has been modified. It was cut across here, and then the strap across the cut to allow it to be disassembled in the vehicle. This allows the top half of the shroud to come out while leaving the lower half in place. Okay. Now, second half of the fan shroud. You have to take this thing out to make the modification in the first place, but then you cut the fan shroud across this position. And I just used a couple of, you know, metal straps from Home Depot. These are probably way heavier than they need to be. Some washers and pop rivets to hold it into the bottom half here. And then on the top side, again, it's just been cut. Some screws that are a tight fit, in emphasis on the word tight. And then when you put this into the vehicle, it just keys back together and a couple of wing nuts to hold it tight and keep, it, keep the ends from flopping around, which then allows you to remove the top section, remove the fan, and then remove the bottom section separately, which makes this far much less of an ordeal than it would normally be to get the fan out of these CRDs.